Have you ever wondered just how many helium balloons it would take to lift a human being off the ground? 10? 100? 1,000? We were curious to find out, and that's exactly what we did. We got a group of people together that had no idea what they were going to be doing, and this is the story of what happened. So it seems like there's always something strange and interesting happening here. Today, Steph is painting a mural of a cityscape here on our backyard wall uh, for a project that's uh, coming up next week. So here's the finished product, and the question is, what is going to become of this mural that Steph has made? Well, in a few days we'll find out. Setting up our event here. Here's our obstacle that Steph did for us. Thank you very much, Steph. Steph setting up the takeoff area, one of the takeoff areas. And this is the landing zone. <laughs> Uh, just blowing up uh, some of our victims here. Well, the teams have helium and lots of it. They have lots of balloons too. And they have lots of supplies to help get them off the ground. The wind has been a little bit of an issue today. Uh, well, you guys are going to play the role of a uh... Uh, of, of Jeff's setting up the, the airlift uh, exercise. Uh, aerospace organization by the name we'll of go Indiana out in about 30 minutes and uh, you've do been it. In the business for 40 years. Uh, get them up out of the city and then deliver them to an emergency aid station. Uh, along Jeff with just the told them what they're going to be doing. And it's uh, an interesting uh, reaction. They're, they're excited. Uh, so we're blowing up balloons now. These are big balloons, yes. We're going to need a lot of them. Lift a person off the ground. Oh, lost one. Both teams are making progress, but it just started getting windy again and the sky is looking really dark. Uh oh. <laughs> so this is what they attached. This is their pilot. So we're nearing final completion of both human lifting devices. This one is exceptionally tall. Probably over a hundred feet at least. So we have now combined both sets of balloons to make one humongous tower of balloons. And we have liftoff. Towards me! Okay, take it to my right! The team's goal Having built their flying device was to rescue the victims trapped in the city and fly them to safety. They also had to construct rescue devices from the materials we provided them, as the rules stated they couldn't touch the victims. So watch on and let's see how they do. Hello, how you doing? Uh, doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, Frank, should this way move over this way more? As long as those rear lines are tight, she's going to go down. No, no, she'll float over because we're wet. Right there we go. Now, start walking. Slow, 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 slow. Let it go. Just let it go and re-grab it. <laughs> 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 
releasing them, I'm not sure. And this is the aftermath of popping hundreds and hundreds of balloons. Tempted me to step off of the edge of reason. I thought that I knew better than to start believing. Love. So in the end, we never actually counted the number of balloons it took. But that wasn't really the point of this exercise. We just wanted to see if it could be done. So, until next time, thanks for watching. Fly